Get the door. Get the door. Get the door. And you don't, you don't have a good history of this one. So, I don't know. It's already looking a little bit iffy for you, okay? Okay. Mm. Am I the asshole for screaming at my pregnant fiance for not helping me yeah. find my dog who had run off? So, just really absorb this story, okay, Walter? Uh, yeah, Listen, why do you always have to make a pregnancy an excuse? <laughs> like, this yeah, you're starting off with a really <laughs> wrong note here, man. Yeah, hell no. Like, this, is parenting that bad? Oh my like, god! I've never been pregnant before, so I don't know. Like, <laughs> oh no, you like, haven't. You haven't. <laughs> no, yeah. Um, <laughs> okay. Right, I'm just gonna jump into the story here. Okay. <laughs> my fiance, 28 female, is currently five months pregnant and has been both fatigued and nauseous lately. I get why she didn't want to help me look for the dog, but I can't get over the lack of empathy and bordering selfish behavior of this either. My dog, six-year-old healer slash corgi mix, I'll put a picture here, runs off at least once a week. Usually my fiance will help me find her, but it's not without pro protest. I honestly didn't even know how she was getting out of our fence yard, so I installed cameras and found that she was scaling the eight feet fence. I ended up... <laughs> I ended up... <laughs> no, I, I'm also very confused. When I read this, I was like, how is it doing it? I don't know what this kind of Spider dog looks dog. like. Spider but like, dog. I imagine like a, like I imagine, a Yeah, imagine a little doggy, but yeah, like, how does he... Oh, 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 man. All right. Flyweight. <laughs> I ended up attaching spinners to the top of the fence, thinking that would solve the issue, but it didn't. I brought her out today and was playing with her when my phone rang. I was inside just long enough to get to grab my phone, and my dog had gotten out. I immediately went and searched for her, thinking she couldn't have gotten far, but I couldn't find her anywhere. So I went back to the house and asked my fiance, who was curled up on the sofa, to come help me. She immediately said no. She said that she was tired of chasing the dog, that she d isn't dealing with it anymore, and that I should have been out there watching her. I explained to her that I had been watching her and simply stepped away for 0.2 seconds to grab my phone just inside the sliding door and she had escaped. She again said it wasn't her problem and she's not exhausting herself anymore to search for my dog. I won't even say it was unexpected because as I said in the past, she has always had a problem with helping me search, but she's never said no. She just complained about it. First, I went and searched myself. After maybe a half hour, I came back and asked her again to come help me, and she snapped. I said, no, I'm so tired of chasing that dog around multiple times a week when I'm already exhausted and throwing up constantly. I was panicked and unleashed some yelling, which involved me telling her that she was a B-word who lacked empathy and, uh, and that I was thoroughly disappointed with my decision to be with someone who's so heartless. <gasps> It was out of pure fear and panic on my part, and I did apologize later. After I found my dog, but she said, go fuck yourself and won't talk to me. Am I the asshole? Everyone is on my side except my sister who says I'm a fucking prick because it's not my pregnant fiance's responsibility to chase around your fucking mutt and said she would have left immediately if her boyfriend ever said what I did to her. What does he mean? Everyone's yeah. on his side. Yeah, who? who I guess there's. Er I mean, who's who? everyone? Like, it's like, yeah, the, dog. <laughs> <laughs> the dog who wanted to come back home and escaped in the first place. Like. Bags. Uh, I don't know. I, yeah. I always. Uh, I'm. I'm always a little surprised when I hear this. But then again, like you attract people who are like minded to you. So he probably has like a bunch of dudes who are also just a bunch of mm -hmm. shitty people. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, uh, but I didn't want to go ahead and throw a spotlight over to Walter to see what his response is. Just to see <laughs> yeah. who he agrees with. Let, uh, him, speak. You know? Let him speak. No, was, I mean, I, I disagree with him. The way he, he handled the situation. Like the, the way he was talking to her, it was just like not it. Like you have to be respectful to some to an extent, you know. But like, no, he's scared. Is, is it, <laughs> yeah, the last, what are you? Is the last story. <laughs> no, like, like, who am I? But I, I'm not against like a pregnant lady. I'm not. But, what would you be against a pregnant <laughs> lady? <laughs> <laughs> no, like, no, but like the guy has to be more respectful, especially knowing that she's pregnant. You know her. I think it's. Over the place. I think it's interesting how people have like their dynamic with their relationship because like I. And I'm not trying to like show off and be like Oscar's like superhero here, but like with my relationship, I try to go like to like the ends of the earth to have my woman hardly do anything. Like, bro, if that sofa needs to be lifted, I'll put it in my back and try to lift it without asking her. Like, you know, like if the car needs to be moved, bro, I'll figure that out. Like everything that that involves any sort of like uh, hard labor or work, 
Oscar tries to take it on board yeah. before I even ask my woman, right? And this dude is like, she's pregnant. Yeah, let me ask her to go chase my dog around. <laughs> like, bro, what? He literally said she's curled up on the sofa, be throwing up, and yeah. now she's like, and go ask her to go run out the street, him. help me find my dog. And it, this is like a weekly thing. Like, bro, yeah. let that dog go, bro. <laughs> like, that dog clearly doesn't like, want to be in your house, dude. He wants out. And you keep bringing him yeah. back in. Bro, he, he crawled up an eight foot fence. That, yo, let that dog go, dude. Oh, Literally, in two seconds. Like, like, yeah, that's that's crazy. actually wild. <laughs> <laughs> bro, how did the dog just disappear in like point two seconds or whatever? Yeah. Literally turns around, the dog's like halfway across the street already. Like what? They have like, superpowers. In my opinion, yeah. and, and this is something that like I talked to you before. I feel like if something happens, like a mistake or whatever. And it happens once, okay, it's a mistake. If it happens yeah. twice, I'm questioning it. Yeah. So if your dog escaped, like I don't have a dog, but if I did, and I, my brother has a dog and I love her to death. If she escaped, I'd be like terrified. Like, where is she? Like, let's go look for her. Like, I'd be out there looking for my yeah. brother's dog. Yeah. I would make sure that that doesn't happen again. How is it like yeah. a weekly thing? And you're like, you know what? I should look into right. this. <laughs> like, yeah. yeah. Yeah, no. I think he I, stole the cameras too, and he still couldn't like put two and two. Like, <laughs> <laughs> he stole cameras instead of be like, let me just tie my dog while he's outside or something. Yeah, like I, I just don't get it. I don't get it. Yeah, and I, there's things I don't know, but words hurt. Words hurt sometimes. Yeah. Like, I mean, word, they hurt more than freaking physical violence. Yeah, <laughs> you know? but like, okay, words alone hurt. This was like aggressive. Yeah, like you, extra aggressive. Like. I, I think that this is an issue that I have, but, like, it's hard for me to let go of words. Like, once you say him, like, I'm like, you said him. Like, say sorry all you want. You already yeah. said the words. You can't take them back, yeah. you know? Yep. So, yeah. him so saying... So, be, be mindful of Walter. You guys are early on, you know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, I would never talk to a girl like that. I would never call her the B word. Or, like, not trying to help me out, you know? I don't think you... Was, it, any In any circumstance, I don't think it's good to call anybody. Yeah, yeah, like, exactly. even a guy, like, don't... You never should call a dude anything bad like that. Just don't talk to people like that, bro. That's messed up. That's like your homie, then you could, like, tell them all you want. Well, I mean, in a, in a jokingly way. Never, like, yeah, in a serious course, day, you know? Yeah, like, I'm never gonna, like, actually be like... Be like, four face mother... You know <laughs> what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> I four, 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 four eyes. Four eyes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, your girl, your wife, like, you can't talk to them like that. Like, yeah. That's not right. In I feel a, like... In it, any it, level. Exactly, and I feel like it kind of puts them down. Like it, I feel like when anybody talks, and I've had um, I, I used to work in retail like a few years ago, and we've always talked about this. How we used to work at Target, and people can really be really messed up to people, like to to retailers, you know, like anybody who works in sales. And I think it's it's almost so weird because it almost makes you feel like less than, like you're you're not as human as they are, just because they have more money or maybe they have a better job or something. And when someone talks to you like this, it does really make you feel less than like a human. Like you're less than they are or just like dirt, yeah. you know, it's just messed up. And dude, she's pregnant. Treat her like a queen. Like she has oh, yeah. any cravings. Also, we have to know him. like how far is she in the pregnancy? Why do you need to oh know that? Because she was like two months in. Like, come on, you could help me out. Look for the What? Door. No. <laughs> what <are you? laughs> what? No. If she's like, yes. in, like morning That's sickness, true. like no. Oh, as oh, as yeah. soon as like that comes out positive, I'm laying in bed all day. You can do everything. You give me like, you get <laughs> yeah, me. Like, you got it here first. I deserve the nine month. You get rest. Like I deserve it. <laughs> and then after too. Yeah, and after this, and there's no it. debate. So they get like two years of just. I mean, just yeah, like eighteen years more. Dude, like, if I could, like work. eighteen years. If I could, I would, I would trade it. If he could get pregnant, I would. Hell I yeah, would, I would take that. Yeah, I would work every day. To yeah, yeah, literally. You know what? Honestly, I, I feel like I would want to get pregnant. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know, man. I, I don't know. If, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hop on your side on your boat today and right now. Mm -hmm. All right, Walter. All right. I feel like women might be exaggerating it a little more just because of the fact that man cannot experience it. Like, right. dude, I'm a tough ass dude, you know? Like, you're a tough ass dude, right? We're tough guys. Right. So, like, right. <laughs> we, <laughs> we got pregnant. Like, finally, somebody on my side, let me just agree. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we got pregnant, bro. I can take it. Right? Yeah, we could take it. Yeah, we could take it, bro. But like, I, clearly we can. Because yeah. you guys have mothers well, no, okay. and everyone on we earth can take is it. here we, because we of a woman. 345 every other All day. Wednesday and Friday. Uh, know, Friday, too? I just do Wednesdays. I do Fridays. Um. <laughs> no yeah I, okay my point is that, like you guys can't take it but like i feel like we might not even complain at all We're just like oh well i'm puking again whatever no, just because i i'm very careless <laughs> about how things are run in my body like that like if i like if i throw up or something i'm just like oh i just threw up it's fine or if i bleed i'm like oh i just bled it's, it's okay 
Yeah, like, do you guys do an extra little be like, oh, more exaggerated? No, but it's Thank like, you. it's especially for women when they get pregnant, it's like, their emotions like wired oh, to hormones, like, you know, yeah. their baby. So it's like anything that happens, it's like, oh, the baby, you get me? Like, they're constantly worrying about what their body's like yeah. showing. Is it affecting it? You get me? Like fatigue, stress, depression, anxiety, overworked, all that can affect when it comes to birth or can cause like troubles in the pregnancy. That's why yeah. women are so like delicate and like panic a lot when something happens, when their body reacts a certain way because it's like the baby, you know, something's wrong. You know, you like, want me out here being running in the streets looking yeah. for your dog for the hundred <laughs> yeah, times? I wouldn't, that wouldn't go that far week. with it now. Yeah. I feel like she also doesn't like the dog, though. Because if yeah. I had a dog, Bro, I, I would go looking for my dog. And he keeps saying, yeah. my dog, not our dog. He's like, my dog. So I'm pretty sure she doesn't like the dog. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think it's just his, he needs to fix his priorities. You know what? We need to talk to your mom. <laughs> have her tell you about, like, how <laughs> she was pregnant. Yo, bring her on the you're podcast. You're not appreciative at all. <laughs> no, yeah. I'm not appreciated. Mm, okay. I'm appreciated by her having me in her belly for nine months. All right. I just okay. like <laughs> tell her mom. I don't think it even is a big deal. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? You. I'm gonna show your mom this video. <laughs> oh, like, I'm gonna translate no. it for her, and I'll be like, "This is what you're saying." <laughs> you got caught, Walter. <laughs> uh, top overall vote on this one was you're the asshole. Uh, top comment here was my dog, six year old healer slash corgi mix, runs off at least once a week. At that point, you are the asshole for not training him better. Mm-hmm. Rehome him. He deserves a better owner. She is right. That is not an emergency. That is a habit. Yeah, no, that dog really does want to get out. So I'm telling you, he's like, it's Wednesday, 7 p.m. Time for my dog to escape. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly around that time. Yeah, yeah. I don't know how well you did in this episode, um, Walter. Yeah. But I hope for the best <laughs> for you. Best. I'm rooting for you, man. Try my best. Um, oh, actually, before we hop off here, uh, make it or break it. What are, what are we doing here? Is he, are they dipping? Should they break up? Should they stay together? Can you just repeat for me one more time what he calls her and how, what Bitch. Yeah. No, 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 but he said more than that. Uh, all right. I don't know. I don't know why you want to rehear that or relive through <laughs> that, but okay. I mean, do they talk to each other like that all the time or is it like a one time thing? It doesn't matter though. Like they should not talk to each other like that all the time. But if they Neither both should it be talk out to each other like that, then it's like, oh, it's then that means it's a toxic ass relationship and you shouldn't be yeah. in that. Yeah. People like being toxic. Um, he said, I was panicked and unleashed some yelling, which involved me telling her she was a bitch who lacked empathy and that I was thoroughly disappointed with my decision to be with someone who is so heartless. No, right. that part right there, I had forgotten it, but that part right there, you basically said you, um, you think you shouldn't have been with me. You're disappointed in yourself for being in me, for, being for yeah. choosing me. Yeah i'll make it easy don't choose me i don't choose you no more yeah choose a dog. <laughs> Shit. Stay with the dog. <laughs> it's not a break it but like that one that one would hurt I mean, it almost really is a break it i don't know therapy maybe but like because he needs to stop talking world. to you like that yeah. and priorities like he needs to be fixed bro somebody needs to like teach him some what's stuff what's wrong with guys and leash the dog. i feel like in every story we came out as the bad guy did we? Did you like did that on purpose to me? <laughs> <laughs> I was testing you. I, I want to see how you already did. Better. I don't know. Why. <laughs> <laughs> we'll do another one, another episode where girls are the the yeah. assholes here, the bad guys. Yeah, uh, but but that's it. That's today's episode. Well, you did really good. <laughs> you did better than me. <laughs> All right, guys, we're gonna go ahead and sign off here. I hope you guys enjoy our guests, Walter and Tiffany. Uh, awesome couple here, fresh, but I can see they're really <laughs> solid. They're pretty solid. And I know she's she's putting him in his place, Walter. Yeah. I think Walter has I, a lot to work on. Yeah, a lot of, a lot of work <laughs> here. Yeah. But uh, nonetheless, I hope you guys enjoy it. And like I always say, have a great day, great week, great month, great year. I just have a great time, man. And we'll see you in the next one. Later. Bye. Bye. Anybody who's new, who's looking at this video for the first time, subscribe, bro. Join us in this crazy neighborhood of ours. And, uh, you know, just have some fun, silly times with us, man. Hear some Reddit stories. And let's see where the heck this goes. We'll see you in the next one. Later's.